Hi Speechies, it's Lisa and welcome back to Speech Fairies. Today I have a fun game to share called Whack-A-Mole Mole Hill Mania Game. This game is from Mattel and it is rated ages four and up with for two players and it says there's three levels of play and I'll go over that with you. So the back of the box says launch the moles by smacking the planks on the mole hill, collect them in the special mole catching mallet, collect the most moles to be king of the mole hill. And the levels of play are level one, get the most moles, level two, collect all of your color, and then race to get the red mole. And level three, the mole's worth the most points for the highest score. So I did get this one when I was thrifting. You can see the gameplay there. Comes with two mallets, 11 moles, one mole hill, and instructions. I didn't get the instructions because I got it second hand, but you can always look them up online if you can didn't get the instructions. I think it's pretty straightforward though. I don't think we need instructions. So that's Mole Hill Mania. And so basically we're just loading the moles into the mole hill. Good for a final L. You could also work on lip rounding for O mole. You can work on the sound for hit and hammer and hole because they get stuck in these little holes on the bottom. It would be nice too for a social communication game, just an early turn taking game, taking turns hitting the plank, which is right here. So that's what you're supposed to hit with the mallet. And they're supposed to jump it. You can, if it's the right color you're looking for, you can catch them inside your hammer. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> he's inside. You can model in and you hit and catch and take turns doing this hitting them, getting them out of the uh, molehill so they do come out, I'm just trying not to hit it very hard so when you hit it really hard, give it a good whack with a good k sound at the end um, then they will come out so there's lots of nice Arctic targets you could work on with this often what I'll do is get them to earn the moles first they're, they're really cute Kind of like hiding their eyes or covering their mouth. It's like monkey see, monkey do. This one's covering his ears. And this one's covering his eyes. So often what we'll do is I'll have a bag, a Ziploc bag that has all, I think it comes with 11 all 11 moles in a Ziploc bag and then they can do their Arctic targets, language targets, whatever you're working on and then they can earn the moles and then they can put them in the mole hill and when we get them all then we'll start the game. So you can work on one summon all while you play this game which is a early numeracy concept. Some clients need that active piece. They really need to move around a lot during a session this would be a good game for some of those kiddos who have a hard time sitting and attending for any period of time. It would work with a garden theme, a spring theme, it would work with like a forest theme. So anyway, that's it for this game. I just wanted to share it with you guys. In case you're out thrifting or garage sailing, you'll be able to find this. You might be able to find this one. And then you'll know exactly whether it's a good game or not. And I say it is. So this game is from 2010. So keep an eye out for it while you're out and about. The Whack-A-Mole. It's a little bit more controlled than the regular Whack-A-Mole, which we have at work, but can get a little out of hand when you're just trying to follow the lights and hammer away. This one has a few more opportunities for conversation built in. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please make a comment below if there's anything you want to share for anybody else watching this video. They can benefit from your ideas. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any content. We're trying to upload videos as many days of the week as possible. 
for those that have already subscribed, thank you so much for joining our YouTube family. And we'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.